Tohoku is the name of the northeastern region of Japan. We only had four days, so we visited Akita and Aomori Prefecture for two days each. Both prefectures are known for their natural landscapes and hot springs. These places get really cold in the winter, so we were glad to be visiting in May. And Aomori specifically is where most of Japan's apples come from. This region is not a typical tourist destination, which is partly why we wanted to visit. For part one of this same trip, check out my Hokkaido video. We arrived in Aomori by Shinkansen from Hokkaido. As soon as we got to the station, we saw a colorful lantern float from Aomori's most famous summer festival. The festival is held in August every year. Our first stop was the Aomori Tourist Information Center. It's an iconic triangle-shaped building that's a great first stop for tourists. Besides souvenirs and chances to try the specialty apple foods and soba noodles, there is a lot of info for tourists, including brochures in so many different languages. There was a map of where tourists from Japan came from, and I put a sticker on the island that I was living and teaching English on. Cherry blossoms in Aomori bloom around the end of April, and we were there during the first week of May. So we headed out to Hirosaki Park to try to see some of the best cherry blossoms in Japan. The Cherry Blossom Festival was still happening, but unfortunately, the main cherry blossoms along the river were basically all gone. It would have been so nice to see the blossoms in full bloom here, but that's life. And we still had a good time and got to see the castle too. The second day was one of my favorite places we went to on this trip. We drove about an hour and a half from Aomori City to Oirase Gorge. And the drive was so cool because we saw a ton of snow on the side of the road, even though it was May. Some of the snow was way taller than our car. The gorge is a good area for seeing nature and doing some hiking. It was raining when we were there, so we mostly drove through, but there are a lot of beautiful waterfalls and greenery. It's especially known for its fall colors, but I think May was a great time to visit too. On our drive back, we stopped by a rest stop and got more of Aomori's specialty apple products, like this soft serve and a pastry. And we ended our night with some sushi near our hotel. The next day, we took a local train to Akita Prefecture. It took a while to get there, but it was nice because there weren't many other people on the train and we could see some nice Japanese countryside views. We didn't have much planned for the day, but we ended up stopping by the Akita Museum of Art in Akita City. The architecture of the building was so cool. For dinner, we tried Akita's specialty dish, Kiri Tampo. Freshly cooked rice is pounded and shaped into cylinders which are toasted and can be added to a hot pot dish. We went to a restaurant that specializes in this dish and it was a fun experience, but 
I didn't think the taste was anything special, and it was pretty expensive. The second day in Akita, we started our day off with some udon noodles, and then went to Tsuru no Yu, a beautiful hot spring in the middle of nature. They have many different baths, and I met some woman in the woman's bath who talked to me in English, and I found out that one of them also lives near San Francisco. From there, we drove to Kakuno Date, a former castle town with a samurai district that hasn't changed much since 1620 and is one of the best places to see samurai architecture in modern day Japan. Just before we left the samurai town, we randomly saw a sign for vegan food, which is pretty rare in Japan, so we decided to stop by the restaurant and try it out. The menu had a lot of set meals, and it turned out not everything was vegan, but it says they have vegan and vegetarian options. Our meal set had some fish in it. The owners were very kind and let us walk around inside the building while they were making our food. It turns out the building of the restaurant is also a traditional building from samurai times and also has a museum of artifacts from the ancestors of one of the owners. There were so many different rooms. Besides Japanese artifacts, most of the paintings on the wall were actually painted Persian carpets. We stopped by that restaurant by chance, but it turned out to be one of the most interesting parts of our trip. I definitely recommend Akita and Aomori prefectures if you want to visit a quieter side of Japan and have an interest in nature and history. Thanks for watching and remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I have more Japan related videos coming soon.